Ooh, okay, that's fun. We're gonna get cold in a hurry, so let's head directly home. Now we'll take our snare, which didn't do anything. So this is obviously a terrible idea. Even if we're in a hurry, the best thing to do would be to wait out the storm and go back when it's calm and brighter, but at least we've got this fence to follow. That'll guide us to the edge of the property. Assuming the fence is in usable condition, but we are just gonna step across it here because we have the benefit of a map. little bit of cloth that I think is supposed to be caught on the fence. I guess that came off of Hobbs's jumpsuit, right? Okay, so we're walking this way until we come to the river, and then we need to find a bridge. I have no idea how loud this is going to be in the final recording. Yeah, I know it's cold. Shut up. This is actually extremely dangerous, obviously. There we go. And there's the bridge. Okay, we're back at the bank, the Milton Credit Union. I'm gonna go see what's in that safe deposit box. Number 15. Gray Mother's safety deposit box. Oh, there's a text here? Nope, there isn't. Okay. Take it. This will come in and handy. some cash. We'll put that in her firebox. All right, let's go take this back to her then. Look, more soda. Hey, it's pretty cold out here. Uh, where's the big house? There's the mailbox. There we go. A little dark out here too. Here you go, have some cash, a little more accelerant. We don't actually need to keep her supplied, I'm just doing it. Alright, hang on, let me extinguish this. Have some soup. All right, now then. Box. I managed to get into the bank and... Did you find it? Here's the safety deposit Found box something. I asked for. What does this have to do I with my wife? Don't... Shh, please. Give me the box. What's in the box? Jewelry? I, I don't understand. You said this would help me find it. It will. I'll tie her, it will. I need to find my friend. Do you think you'll be okay here by yourself? 
You've done more for me than you can know, Mackenzie. These pearls were my lilies. Did we give her our name? I didn't come across anyone in the farmhouse or bank that seemed like a lily. Lily was... It doesn't matter. Did you... get confused? In your foggy gray memories? Yeah, I don't think she's doing so good. Maybe you thought Lily Just and between you and me. were the same? I'm sorry. I can't. I thought I was helping you. It's okay. I don't think you're in any danger anymore. <laughs> well, you should have hmm. enough supplies to last a while now. I'm sure help is on the way. Now that I have her pearls. Help's not on the way here. There's what? no way. Sorry, I don't understand. I needed the pearls to remember her, but now you can take her things. Upstairs, in her old room, her climbing gear, her maps. They can help you get out of Milton. Climbing gear, you say? Through the mountains. You mean there's another way out? Yes. My I mean, sort of. A climber. That's what happened. She... Never mind that. Take the rope, the map. Follow her path. Uh, she's not still Can out there, is she? Milton and deeper into the mountains, north, towards Perseverance Mills. Okay. If you're sure. Thank you. Now lead me to my memories, outsider. Okay. Out there and find your friend. And don't stop to think about Milton or Grey Mother again. You're not the boss of me. Where are the old world? This new world is for the strong to survive. Are we are we done here? Okay. Hey, we can ask about memories. Lily. Who was she? You want to understand Lily's story? Man who fell from the sky. I think like I we're some mythic figure to understand why you wanted her pearls and yeah, not just a random Canadian then take them to Lily Lily's still here in Milton why didn't you say so oh get there Mackenzie take the pearls and give them to Lily and then I can rest in peace All right, first thing we'll do is go upstairs and find Lily's kit, and then we'll go to the grave. Actually, we'll probably take a nap first, or just sleep at this point, I guess. Wait, where's the, where's the stuff? It's in the other room. There we go. Okay, mountaineering rope, decent climbing socks, a map, and that's it. So the first thing we'll do is come on over here and compare this to our other socks. Uh, we can drop all the sports socks now. These on the outside, and we'll wear these on the inside, and we'll drop these. All right. Now let's turn out our lantern once we've found a bed. Not that one though. This one. And we'll get some sleep. Wish to light the lantern, please. Excuse me. There we go. Sun will be coming up soon. We'll be able to see fine once we're outside. Is there any more soup? No more soup. 
Perhaps there will be more soup later. Okay, where are we going? Not there. We're going here first. Okay, we're going back to the church. Which is... We need to hang a right and go this way. Alright, to the church. Here we go. We're back at the church. Looking for Lily's grave. It'll be one of these. Right? It's around here somewhere. Here we go. Nope, that's Tyler Clark. I don't know who that is. Hmm. Okay, it's around here somewhere. Yeah, I know you're cold. It's cold out. Quit complaining. Should be like right here. Okay, well, we're running out of lantern fuel, so let's put this away and go inside. Obviously, it's quite a bit darker in here. Fortunately, I think we can walk straight down the middle and bed. <laughs> there we go, and after a couple of sleep cycles, it's bright enough to see. Alright, we're a little thirsty. At some point, I need to uh, melt us enough snow water to fill our jug. Okay, we're back outside. Now, I was fairly certain her grave was just right here next to the church, where it should be. Let's take a little look around the area. Ah, graveyard. There we go. It's across the street from the church. I knew we'd find it. Um, Jessica Roy, who are these people? There we go, Lilith Barker. I would have draped him over the cross myself, but that's fine. Alright. Job done. That's what we came out here for. We did something nice for a dying old lady. So, you know, we're good people. Oh yeah, hey. Real quick, now that we've got a pry bar, I can show you this. We can get into cars now! Oh, this one was already unlocked. Stuff will come in handy. Okay, that, 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 that's fine. We can also, I forgot, just get into cars. Warm up a little. Check the glove compartment for stuff. That, that's actually really handy. And most importantly, if we're being chased by wolves, we can just get into a car and wait for them to go away. Nothing in this one, though. Alright, back to town. Here we go.
Oh, hey, the wolf's gone. We can scavenge this carcass now. Just like our hunting gathering ancestors. See, is there even anything left on this? It's a ravaged deer carcass, but look, we can get some meat off of this. Um, hide and gut would be useful in other circumstances. Quarter. I, I don't know. Uh, we'll use this hatchet. Let's see what... Yeah, the hatchet's going to be way faster. There we go. Now we got some meat. And we're also freezing to death, so let's get inside. Hey, we're back! Freezing. What, no soup? It's fine, we'll uh, cook some venison. I, I wish to cook the venison, please. There we go. Can we cook two venisons? Yes. Fantastic. Okay. We got some time until that's ready. So let's talk to Grey Mother. I found Lily, your daughter. Or what's left of her, anyway. She has her pearls now. They were the last gift I gave her on her 16th birthday. Oof. She wanted to leave Milton, to be free. She had grown up here in the mountains, a climber. She wanted to leave to summit all the tallest peaks on Great Bear. I was afraid. So she wanted to leave Milton, but not Great Bear. Fought bitterly. She has. Uh, she's. She's setting her sights very middlingly. She, left. she died out there in the mountains. In the wilderness. Losing a child is. It's like losing your own life. You have a kind heart, Mackenzie. But it's a heavy one. Go it's a hereditary on condition. Use Lily's climbing gear and her map. Can I also and have her boots? Then her death will feel so empty. Thank you. I'll come back for you. You've done a lot for me, Mackenzie. I won't forget about you. She's not going to die right here, is she? All right, we're going to take these boots. Um, you know, not for nothing, but whether these are Grey Mother's boots or Lily's, I feel like they're not going to fit Mackenzie. We'll eat this fresh venison. And we'll eat... Oh, that's still raw. Okay. Um, let's cook this dusty soup. We'll just take a minute here to top off our stats before we leave. Okay, and with all that done, we are on our way to our next objective, which is down here. Now, listen, folks. Our inventory is full up. See? 65 out of 66 pounds. So don't let me pick up any more gear. <laughs> thing up there. Oh, highway robbery, that's right. Ugh. Okay, I know I said that, but we're gonna go get that. Okay, so here we go. After this, don't let me pick up any more gear until we've used what we have, okay? Okay. Alright, here we are. We're at the place. We're freezing cold. We're overloaded because I picked up some sticks to try to start a fire. But we're here. Now to find that secret stash. I cut out a lot. Slow, slow walking. Is there any reason to pry open the hood of this thing? No. Why would it even let me do that? Okay, good. We can warm up a little bit here in this car. I think I'm just going to let him sit here for an hour or so. Let's see if that works.
Well, it helped. We're no longer in immediate risk of hypothermia. Let's move from car to car. This is one of my big complaints about this game, is all the slow walking you have to do. They do it for two reasons. One Could end up being is used. to artificially extend the playtime. I'm picking up more stuff. See, this is what I told you not to let me do. The other yeah, reason... Find that secret stash. What is that? Driving gloves? Driving gloves. Useless. The other reason is to more accurately represent what it's like to be in this kind of situation. Obviously there's no fast travel, but more than that, when you're in this kind of environment, you don't go anywhere quickly. It's lots and lots of slow, slow walking. Now to find that secret stash. I know, shut up. In fact, go ahead and eat some sardines. Stash is probably under the bridge. Oh, or it's here. Here it is. All right, we got some peanut butter, some peanut butter, some condensed milk. Just what I and need. a flare gun. Now we're talking. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, it was worth coming out here. Even though we're now disastrously overweight. Um, okay, we're gonna let Something's gotta go. Mackenzie sit in here for a bit, and then we will get back underway. Okay, we sat in the car for a while, we warmed up, we topped off our nutrition, and now we're going to begin the long, long hike um, all the way down here. So I'm going to cut the footage here, and I will see you folks in a few minutes. Alright, welcome back, folks. We're here in scenic Milton Park. Found a note on the way out here that because of Lily's climbing accident, climbing is now forbidden in the park. Never mind the climbing area sign. Alright, we'll just take a minute to... History of the Collapse Part 2. Well, I'll, I'll take it, but I'm not going to read it. Thank goodness. Uh, we'll go ahead and slam that. Oh, we didn't really need to. Okay, that's fine. We also didn't need to be carrying it, but we'll, we'll pick up this one, even though we're, um, oh, actually slightly underweight right now because we grabbed some soup on the way over here. I cut out about 15 minutes of walking. <laughs> keep hitting C to crouch. Pick up these flares. I suppose I could fire a couple of these wolves, since we've got so many. I could use this. Emergency stim. Um, we'll take it. What's that, orange soda? Yes, please. Stop letting me pick up stuff! We're gonna be carrying a hundred pounds of gear. This will come handy. This is gonna make it really hard to climb down this uh, cliff face. But obviously I'm not gonna pass up free food in a survival situation. Plinky plonky music. There's nothing spooky happening here. Yeah, 
Anything over here? No, it's a picnic area. Man, it's too bad we're already stuffed. All right. Let's do this thing that we've been specifically advised not to do because of Lily's death. Okay, now, we have to be careful, because as I recall, there's a specific spot we're looking for, and we can fall to our death. We have to tie off to the rock? Yeah, there we go. I have a bad feeling I'm never going to see this place again. <laughs> well, we're not doing the side quests. Those are left as an exercise for the viewer. Down we go. Stamina meter on the bottom right there. Does not fill me with confidence, but we're also not going that far. I feel like I'm gonna die. Oh, oh, okay. Minor bruising. What the hell? I guess that rope was older than it looked. Cold is making my head feel thick. Alright, well, we're stuck down here now. New objective, find your way through the mountains. Fantastic. We're not even on the map anymore. Boy, I forgot how long this first episode is. And we're getting cold, of course. Oh, the climbing area is down this way now. Oh, campfire. Is that who I think it is? I think it might be. It's Methuselah. Hey, old man, how you doing? So, we meet again. This what you do? Hang around <laughs> campfires and share wisdom? These He's an old man in the apocalypse. Times. What else is he gonna do? Let me see if I can help you make sense of them. I am an old man. I've seen... See? He's millions. an old man. Some would say too many. I've seen this happen before. We've sinned. Now we're paying the price. Are you talking about religion? Not religion. Redemption. Is this about the lights in the sky? What do you think, Mackenzie? The lights in the sky are a reckoning. The wonder of humanity and all its creations laid bare. Her warnings went unheeded. Well, whose warnings? Mother Nature's. The signs were there for those willing to see them. This has all happened before. Soon we'll all be tested. We'll have to choose how far we'll go to survive. What do you mean this has happened before? Big change is coming. Are you ready to face it? Is this guy supposed to be the actual Methuselah? I know he is. I'm just looking for someone. Doing my best to survive in the meantime. The end of Milton's story is a sad one. Too many people. I feel like the beginning of Milton's story was a sad one. Too much suffering. You chose to take mercy. To save a life that probably didn't deserve to be saved. You following me, old man? Mm. The convict? How'd you know about that? The whispers in the wind. You a wizard? This bastard deserve to die. Right? But it's not for me to pass judgment on that. Let's hope you hold on to your merciful ways, and the new world doesn't just grind you to dust. Look, my friend is out there. I'm gonna find her, and then we're gonna get out of here. The power's gonna come back. They get the roads back open, Milton will recover. Everything will go back to being the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> how do you know this isn't how things are supposed to be? There you go. Oh, look at that. That's the, um, the Dev's logo there on his coffee mug. You keep your luck, stranger. 
I have a feeling you're going to need it. Can we talk to him anymore? Nope, it's all he's got for us. All right. Well then, as long as we're here, um, we can't. We can steal his coffee. I'm not going to. But as long as we're here, we will camp out at his fire just long enough to warm up. I'll have a snack. Um, oh, you know what? We can cook these peaches. Nice hot peaches. And eat. And I guess we'll be on our way. We've got an unknown walk ahead of us. So, goodbye. If you find my frozen corpse later, just leave it for the wolves. I won't need it anymore. Yeah, I guess we're following these climbing area signs, maybe. Peaches gave us a warmth bonus. Good to know. Ah, look at that. A spare climbing rope. So, on which one of these cliffs did Lily die? And should we... Should we not try to go up that cliff? Oh, probably should have let our stamina recover before we climbed up here. Oh well, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm not sure it's going to be fine. That is running down awfully quickly. No, do not slow down now, Mackenzie. Do you want to die, my friend? Ah, get up there! Did we... Uh, okay. What was that? Please climb faster. We've been doing so well. Is it because of the... Is it, oh, no. Okay, we're going down. We're going down the rope. We're going down the rope. Is it because of the 70 pounds of gear we're carrying? Get down the rope, get down the rope, get down the rope. Alright, 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 alright. Yep, okay, we're done. We're done. Wait, what? Okay, we're fine. I'd lay down right here if I thought I'd ever wake up again. Okay, hang on, we're gonna we're gonna fix this. We're gonna fix this. There's a campfire over here, there's a wolf over there, it looks like. Is that a wolf or a rock? That's a rock. It's a rock that happens to look like a wolf. It's a it's a tree stump that happens to look like a rock that happens to look like a wolf. But there are wolves nearby. Okay, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to the campfire. He is not doing so hot. Here's what we're going to do. We have a bedroll, which we, for some reason, cannot put down anywhere as far as I can tell. So, you know what? In fact, uh, we're just going to drop it. There are lots of places to sleep. We're just going to drop that. Right here in the snow. Okay, we're going to rest here. Or we'll start with an hour. That didn't do the job. Where can I put down this stupid bedroll?
It's just we need to get up that cliff in order to continue. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. All right. Give him two hours. That? Hmm. All right, we'll give him like 10 hours. Hey man, thanks for just keeping this fire going perpetually while we're here. All right, um, can we cook this condensed milk? No, okay. Cook some peaches. It's all right, this is fine. We're just gonna top off our nutrition and then climb. We'll drink this condensed milk straight out of the can. That counts as hydration. Eat these peaches. That also counts as hydration. I'll drink some water. Okay, uh, we're still gonna ditch our bedroll here. There we go, that puts us nicely underweight. All right, let's go. Nope, we're not gonna run, we're not gonna waste any energy. But we are going to climb up this cliff in the dark. Make sure we're going the right way. I think we might have to wait until morning to figure out where the rope is. All right, we're gonna stand here, let our stamina recover. Now we're going up the rope, here we go. Yeah, look at him go. Wow, look at him go. I feel like maybe he could have done that the first time, instead of going through all that falling and screaming. But hey, whatever. I'm just the player, what do I know? This is completely safe. Oh yeah, sprain risk, you don't say. We're climbing up a frozen cliff face at night. Carrying over 50 pounds of equipment. There, there might be some sprain risk. That seems reasonable to me. Pretty though. Uh, we're not going to take the time to butcher that right now. It's dark. And it's cold. Leave the cattails, we don't need to carry any more stuff. I feel like we've got to be getting close to the end of this episode, though. Yeah, we're getting close to where we want to be. Waterfall action. That's lovely. Sure, it would look even nice in the daytime. 
Kind of lost track of what I was trying to say there. That looks dark. There we go. Oh, okay. Well, leaving Milton. Ah, good. Now we're in a cave. <laughs> Do you suppose there are any corpses in here for us to loot? Cool. Sure, why not? Not sure why there would be a random lump of coal in here, but we'll take it. This is kind of spooky. Not sure why I'm picking up these lumps of coal. I just kind of want them. I mean, we can use them for fuel later, so that's, that's, that's a reason. Ah. Hey, a free rabbit. What have we here? Yeah, we'll take that. Free dead rabbit that we found in a cave, why not? That's food, right? Actually, in this case, it's the ideal food. A high-protein meal that we did not have to work for. Maybe I already said this back when I was chasing rabbits, but unless you're real good at throwing rocks and sticks, hunting in this kind of situation, probably not worth your effort. This is the case in which snares would be a good choice. We don't want to work any harder for our calories than we have to. And that's why we're drinking cans of straight condensed milk. Ah, that's promising. Leave cave. You know, I was just wondering when the bear was going to come up. Want me to do it? No. Alright, and that's episode one. I'll see you folks next time. Birdman out!